Diners are winning in the battle over the future of outdoor dining in Philadelphia. The battle is over how long it will last. Carrie Carrado is live in Rittenhouse Square to explain. Hi, Carrie. Jessica, good evening. Outdoor dining was the main reason these restaurants were able to survive the brunt of the pandemic. Now they're trying to get back on their feet and they wanted to stay that way. Sidewalks and streets transformed. Streeteries are now a common sight in Philadelphia. But now, outdoor dining is set to expire at the end of the year. The Philadelphia City Council is looking to extend it. Yeah, it would be really great, I think, for the city to just have some alfresco dining. We don't know how long COVID is going to be around or what's coming in the future. The Plow and the Stars general manager, Erin Callahan, says right now about 70% of business is outside. She says a lot of money went into creating the pop up dining experience. It's a big investment, um, you know, uh, between the lighting, the permits, the, the structure itself, you know, kind of weather proofing it for all weather. Um, definitely took a lot of time and money, and it'll be a shame to have to rip it down. Philadelphia City Councilman Alan Dahm recently proposed making outdoor dining a permanent fixture in the city, but Council President Daryl Clark is proposing a six month extension. At Cuba Libre, Assistant General Manager Aaron Bauer says it's something they would love to keep in place too, not just for a few months, but permanently. In spring and summer, we have a beautiful city. Uh, we have a beautiful setup also, and you should be able to enjoy it. Um, and a space where you feel comfortable. Bauer says offering up options makes the dining experience more comfortable for guests who are starting to venture out again. I have the option, I'm like, you can go outside, you can go inside, upstairs, downstairs, or at the bar. I feel like the more options you have for people, the more uh, comfortable people feel. The expansion would give restaurants until the summer of 2022. The city council still has to vote on this. We're live at Rittenhouse, Carrie Carrado, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Carrie, thank you.